Hey guys, this is the Duda Two, and um, this is going to be another uh, Go Basics video. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about life and death. Uh, as you can see, I have a 13 by 13 board here with my uh, Yellow Mountain Imports bamboo board and bamboo bowls with uh, 9.2 millimeter double convex Yunzi stones. Uh, for those who give a crap, um, I talk about these in other uh, reviews. Um, in this. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm going to focus on life and death today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play myself in a 13 by 13 board in such a way as to force myself into life and death problems. And I'll let you know how a mid Q player kind of handles them. And I also want to talk about uh, a bit the basics of this, which would be um, which groups are alive, which groups are dead, when to focus on trying to save them, when to let them go. Um, this isn't rehearsed, so I'm going to go through it, so bear with me. I'm going to try to force myself into life-death problems by making stupid moves or maybe really sweet moves. You know, I'm going to try to beat the crap out of myself. So, uh, let's, let's start. Cool. Play the game here. Hopefully I can get a nice life-death, maybe at least three, I would say, life-and-death issues going on here. Uh, so we'll see White wants the corner. Black's going to do a diagonal hit. White will do this. We'll try something like this. Then. Uh, White will push in. Black will block. White will push in. Black will block. White will jump. We'll let Black push. White will push. Black will push. There, so we have a life and death situation. We have a life and death situation here. Uh, I'm just going to. Uh, we'll figure out if uh, Black is alive or dead after. Um, White just played here, so we'll finish this. Uh, what we'll what we'll do is we'll we'll jump into Black's gonna do an invasion over here. Capture this. Here. That's gonna play here. Definitely not smart. Black's gonna play here. White's gonna capture these guys. Black's gonna play here. So here we got black just getting demolished. Right. Definitely no good. That's an, that's an example of what happens when you try to invade in an area that's too small to invade. Okay, I'm not saying it's not playable. Black may have been able to save some stones, but let's see what happens up here. Um, that's Black's turn again, so he's going to jump in the corner. We'll have White do a 3-3 three, three jump. White will fix its weakness. Sorry, last turn. And we'll just leave this. All right, well, let's go from here. All right, let's do this. Here we have black. Black has one, two, three, four, five liberties. Okay. So, what does black have to do to make two eyes? Well, black has to play here for an eye. Uh, if he plays here, is there any way for white? So, basically what I'm asking, can white kill this group? Okay, well, let's see. Let's say it's white's turn. 
All right. What's going to play here? That's going to take away one of Black's eyes. Black's going to play here. Uh, now Black has one eye here because this group is dead. Right? White cannot play here. This group is dead. And right, what about now? Black plays here. White plays here. What if White plays here? Doesn't that take away one of Black's eyes? Okay. Well, let's see. Black can't play here to try to capture it. So Black has to play here. Right? To try to capture that. Looks like a dead group to me, right? Keeping it about as basic and simple as possible. Now, let's let's assume let's assume it's White's turn to play, right? White plays here again. Okay, Black pushes out. Okay, well, let's assume that White answers. Black plays here. No matter where white plays, black can now make an eye. So now black has two eyes. Are you kind of seeing the, um, the difference here? Let me zoom in on this corner a little bit. Let's go through that one more time. All right. And there are, of course, uh, dozens of possibilities. But let's, let's say black's, let's say it's white's turn to play. White could play here. Black plays here, giving him one eye. Black has to play here. Sorry. Black has to play here to give himself that second eye. He has to. Okay? It's White's turn. White plays here. Black's group is now dead. If White plays here, Black plays here, now black has two eyes. All right, let's check out another. Uh, let's try out another couple ideas. It's black's turn. Black plays here. White's turn. Where can white play to get rid of one of black's eyes? Well, technically, he could probably play here, and that would prevent black from playing here, right? But. Black plays there. Guess what? Black now has his two eyes because this white group, this white stone's dead. The white can never play here. So black, black lives. Okay. So let's see. A couple other variations with this one. Let's say black wants to scoot out. All right. White will answer. Black will answer. White plays here. Do we still have a problem? No, we don't have a problem. White can just play here. What if white plays here? Then black will play here. Either way, black has two eyes. All right, now let's try something a little creative. Let's say black plays here and white plays here. Okay, well, black's probably gonna wanna take this stone, right? Now white plays here. What happened? What happened here? Well, because of the suji, tricky move, white tricked black into taking it. And so black got rid of one of his own eye spaces. Okay, this is a false eye. Right? So let's assume, you know, white plays here. Okay? If black played there, that would be two eyes. If black plays here, uh, it's alive. But since white played here, now black has a, a false eye. What does that mean? Well, white will play here. Okay, well, black will probably protect. Okay. Now white can play here. Black can play here. White can play here or here. Black can play here. White can play here. You kind of see where it's going. Black can't play here. He's dead. Black tries something crazy. White plays here. Kills all the black stones. I hope this gives you a couple variations and ideas of when to see whether or not uh, a group is dead or not. Let's go. Let's go here. 
right? We'll get rid of this and this. Toss these over here. So this is called one, two, three, four, five. This is called five uh, in the line. Uh, five, five on the side, five in the corner, I think it's called, okay? So the death of this group just depends on how it plays. If Black plays here, he's alive unconditionally because it's five on the side, all right? And there may be other ways. I think if Black plays here, yeah, if Black plays there, he's alive unconditionally. If Black screws up and plays here, well, then he has to play here to make another eye, right? So if he plays there and White plays here, Black dies, okay? Well, let's say it's White's turn. White plays first, all right? Can White kill this group with one move? What if White plays here? Uh, let's assume Black plays here. Is that group dead? Well, think, think to yourself, can it make two eyes? No, as of right now, it cannot make two eyes. It's dead. What if White played there, Black played here, White played here, and Black played here? Then yes, it's got its two eyes. So in the midst of a game, it's pretty important for Black, if it's his turn, to play here or here, right? And if it's White's turn, it's pretty important to White to try to play. So basically, the, li the life or death of this group depends on who, who goes first, okay? There may be some exceptions. Like I said, I'm a mid-Q player, but... Uh, so th this is an example of what I'm looking at, okay? Now, what if there's six? If there's six, black is unconditionally alive. No matter what, white can only kill it if it's played uh, poorly. Right? Black could always make two eyes. No matter what white plays... Two eyes. I'm sorry. Two eyes. No matter what. White plays there and there. Two eyes. Well, that's dead. See that? See, I'm getting ahead of myself. Black would have to play there. I knew I'd mess up on this video. Uh, so let, let's cover this other part of my board, and then uh, I'll take any kind of questions you guys may have. I'm going to try to zoom in on this section here. Forgive my shabby camera work. Alright, what do you guys think of this? Is this white group alive or dead? Okay, well, obviously this whole thing is kind of one eye, if you look at it like that, okay? So black needs to make another eye. I'm sorry, white needs to make another eye, and black needs to eliminate him making two eyes. Okay, well, most of the time, if you play on the 2-2 point, you can make yourself a nice eye there. Right? Uh, can black kill this group? Well, what if black plays... I'm sorry, what if black plays here? Well, white will play here. That's one eye, and here's one eye. This is a false eye, but it's still safe, okay? Because black can't attack it. If black tries to surround this false eye, white will just capture it. Right? So what would happen? Well, black will play down here. If black doesn't play down there, white's going to try to slip out a little more. Okay? And that'll give black some really bad shape. So what will happen is black will play down, seal him in, white will play here, and that becomes a real eye. And now white has its two eyes. Simple, right? So let's get rid of this 2-2 uh, two -two point here. Let's say it's black's turn. What if black plays in here? Can white still make two eyes? Well, let's see. Let's try some stuff. Maybe here. Right. Black wouldn't want to, let's get this out of here, black wouldn't want to play up because it will be captured, so he'd play down. What if white played here? Well, black could play here or here, but to do so, the next move would be captured. So can we do this in such a way, let's try here, and then white plays here, capture, capture, capture. 
Ooh, looky here. Whose turn is it? Black's? Black will play here. And that will kill, you know, that just leaves white with one eye. That'll kill his eye space. If black decides to play here, and white plays here, then guess what? Black can play here. And that's still a false eye. Right? Because black can take this in, a, in another turn. So if white tries to answer where he blocks it, boom, dead. Uh, again, it's, it's pretty neat that these came up in a regular game because almost every game has some type of life-death issue. Almost every game. Maybe not so much on the smaller boards, but maybe more so on the smaller boards. So basically, um, if you see that you can make two eyes, for sure, you want to leave that group alone until it gets uh, close. Because the sooner you make those eyes, you're probably giving your opponent sente or initiative. Uh, if you are not sure about whether or not you can make an eyes, then you need to work on life or death. Uh, if you could look at it and you know that no matter what your group is safe, save it till the end of the game. Because again, playing it will just give your opponent an extra move. Now if you know that it takes two moves for your opponent to kill your group, and he plays one move to start killing it, you want to answer. But if you're sure that you can save it no matter how he plays, just let him throw some stones away trying to kill it. And at the last second, throw in your stones, save it, and uh, take his points away as either prisoners or wasted moves. Uh, again, it's very basic, but uh, I hope this just gives you guys kind of an idea of uh, life and death, at least for a mid-Q level like myself. I believe I'm around 14, 15 Q right now. Um, hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you need anything more specific, because this was a request. I had a gentleman uh, contact me, he requested a type of life death explanation. If you need uh, something more specific, please let me know. Um, I got my 30 votes for my Facebook channel, so I wanted to thank you guys who uh, popped on and gave me the, the like. Uh, now we can see what kind of neat stuff I can do with that uh, channel. If you're in the Youngstown area, please stop by. Uh, on Facebook we have a Youngstown Go Club. Uh, you can find it by typing in Youngstown Go Club. Uh, pretty simple. And uh, if you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them. I always answer. Uh, you guys have a good day, and I hope this video helps. Later.